Hello YouTube, Raul here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Redux Toolkit to handle actions that were defined in other slices or by using create action. So we're gonna see how we can handle these extra actions in our create slice. Before this, I have, I've gone and added a button right here at the, in, inside our header. It's this button right here that says log out. I've just assigned a dispatch function to it, but I didn't put anything inside the dispatch yet. We're gonna do that in a moment. And I've added a class name and the styling for this button is just positioned absolute and some basic styling to it, just so we can have a button that will dispatch our newly created action. So let's first create the action that our book slice will have to respond to. I'm going to create a new slice right here. I'm going to just call it off, off slice, but you can call it however you want. I'm going to import create slice from at Redux.js toolkit. Then I'm going to initialize a constant with the initial state. I'm going to just add is logged in and set it to false for the start. Then I'm do gonna create the slice. Okay, the name is gonna be off. Then we're gonna add the initial state. And then we have to add the reducers. I'm just gonna add one, which is gonna be called logout. It's gonna get the state and the action. And as for this, we're just gonna set the state to false. Yeah, to false. And here in the initial state, I'm actually gonna set it to true. So we're gonna, we're just gonna mock here that we are, we actually have a logging system because we don't actually have it now. But we're gonna say that we are logged in when we see this personal library. And when we press the logout button, a logout action will be dispatched and we will also want that when that logout action is uh, dispatched, so when we have multiple books here, when we log out, we actually want to clear those books from the logout state, from the books book state actually. Okay, let's export this action creator, logout, and it's gonna be of dot actions okay and act, uh, we're gonna export default the of reducer okay let's go to the store and get this reducer so we're gonna import the of reducer from slices of slice and let's add this of reducer with the auth key okay so now if we refresh we can see the auth state right here okay so now let's go to the to the header and uh, link this uh, auth action to the logout button so we're gonna import something from we're gonna go into the store, slices and off slice. And from here, we're gonna get the logout. And when we click this button, we're just going to dispatch this logout action. Okay, let's refresh and see if that works. And you see we have an off logout action. But our state, you can see it changes from is logged in from true to false. But at the same time, we will also want to clear the books from inside our book slice. Let's see how we can do that. So we have this reducers key in our create slice for the book slice, but we can add another parameter here. So it's going to be called extra reducers and it's going to look similarly to what we used with the create reducer. So we, we're gonna get a builder function and here 
we can do builder add case and we need so in this case it's gonna be exactly like we used it in our book reducer we need to import the logout action from the auth slice and here we can add the logout action and then a function that will update our state so here we just want to st set the state box to be equal to an empty array and this should be it so let's test it first let's add some data to our form i'm just gonna write some random data here so i have three actions right here and now if i press the logout button you can see my table right here is cleared and we can check our redux state also you can see the difference it removed all the all three items from the book book slice of the state so this is the way you can add extra actions to to your reducer to handle cases when whenever you need to handle actions from from other parts of your uh, your application great so thank you all for joining in the next video of the redux toolkit series we're gonna look at how you can use uh, create async tank to dispatch asynchronous actions and to handle side effects so thank you all for joining don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it leave a comment and subscribe to the channel also if you want to chat on twitter link will be in the description below have a great day